So you just got your X-Tool P2 CO2 laser, looking to get one, or waiting for yours to arrive, and you're curious, what kind of daily maintenance are you in for? What have I gotten myself into for lens cleaning and mirror cleaning? Stick around, I'm gonna show you what it takes. Hey everybody, my name is Sam. Welcome back to Sam Craft. In today's video, it's gonna be a quick and dirty, easy how-to, show you guys what it takes to take apart your laser gantry on your X-Tool P2 laser, and clean the lens, clean the mirror, clean the air assist nozzle, check it out, make sure everything looks good, get it back together so you can rock and roll on your engraving and cutting. As far as tools and supplies for this, it's very easy. You want a pair of rubber gloves that way you keep your fingerprints off the mirrors and laser. You want to use the hex wrench or allen key that came with the machine. You'll need that to remove two screws. Then you want some 70% isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol and then some foam tip cleaning swabs. I also like to use a microfiber cleaning cloth and a scrap piece of cardboard as you guys will see here in just one second. The overall start to finish for this is probably five minutes or less. Once you do it the first couple of times, you're gonna get in the hang of it. You're gonna get through the swing of things. You're gonna realize it's not that bad. You'll get to find the best, easiest way for you, and you'll be able to knock it out, which is good because you're gonna to wanna to do this before you use your laser every day. Yep, every day. That's my advice at least. If it is not clean, if your lenses and mirrors are dirty, it's gonna affect your machine's performance. You're gonna end up wasting more material, having poorer quality cuts or engravings, and ultimately causing yourself frustration that could easily be avoided. So go ahead, get in the habit, clean your lens and mirrors, either the first thing before you use it or the last thing when you leave your shop. You'll get in the habit and you'll be thankful that you did. With the power off to the laser, you can go ahead and put down a little bit of a sanity saver here. This is a scrap piece of cardboard. This will allow me to catch anything that drops and use it as a work surface as I take this apart to clean it. Let's go ahead and slide the gantry over. Do this slowly so you don't generate a lot of electricity from the stepper motors, but carefully slide it by hand until it's in a comfortable area to work and have access to the laser head. So the covers on this module here are magnetic. The front one just slides right off, no problem there. But the top one is a little bit stiff with my machine. You wanna kinda of wiggle it back and forth. It goes straight up from here, and depending on how yours is put together, it might come off with ease, or it'd be a little bit stiff like mine. At this point, we're able to see the guts of the gantry here. You have the camera system right here with its circuitry and its cables. This is the stepper motor that controls the Z-axis, the up and down travel. We have the nozzle, the coiled air assist hose. We have one of the mirrors here, and then inside this area here is our actual lens. To gain access to the lens, we remove these two Allen screws using the kit that comes with your machine. Just put it in here and unscrew them all the way. At that point, we have access to this. It will slide straight forward. There is the access to the lens. I'm going to disconnect my air hose, push in, pull that little collar out, and now we have our lens fully released and out of the way. The mirror itself is magnetic and it rests right here. It's the silver circle that you see. I'm going to carefully reach in there with my fingers pull it out and come straight out and then lay it face up right here on my cardboard work surface. At this point, we can move the gantry back. We've done everything we need to with it for right now. So we'll just get it out of our way back here to the back. And now we can focus on cleaning the lens and the mirror from the gantry. As I pick up the mirror, you guys can see what honestly looks like a fingerprint. It's not, at least not from anyone who has any prints on their fingerprints. This is smoke residue and just general fumes and smudges on the mirror from using the laser. So that's why it's always important to clean the mirrors as you do this step as well. Looking at the lens, honestly, it looks pretty good and clean, but we will absolutely clean this while we are here. It's the whole point of this. Turning it around so you can see the nozzle end, you can see that it is definitely covered with residue. A lot of acrylic has been run through this machine and acrylic is quite dirty and tends to gum up your nozzles and stuff very quickly. So if you do a lot of acrylic work, you're gonna to wanna to clean this very often. 
To remove this ring from around the lens, you should be able to use your fingernail. Just put it in one of these slots and start to spin it counterclockwise. It is basically a threaded washer that you just spin out of here and you'll be able to sit it out of the way and then remove the lens entirely. Being careful not to touch the face of the lens, we can pick it up from the edge and inspect it. It honestly looks pretty good. I've seen lenses look a lot worse than this. So we're in pretty good shape. We have been doing good on cleaning and we have not waited too long. As far as cleaning, it's as simple as dip the swab in the alcohol, rub the mirrors from the circular motion from the inside to the out, and then let it dry and put it back in place, obviously without touching it. We're gonna clean the lens, the lens housing, the nozzle, the mirrors, anything and everything you want to. You're not gonna hurt minus your electronics, not going to hurt anything on there to clean it. So might as well take advantage and make sure everything looks nice and clean, including the end of that air assist nozzle tubing. It could have some junk and clogging as well. Now's the time to do it. I should have done this earlier, but I've gone ahead and put on some black gloves here just to keep any kind of oil or fingerprints from getting on the stuff as I work and clean. Plus it keeps my hands clean from other things as well. All right, first thing first, let's clean this really dirty looking nozzle. I've got a microfiber cloth. I'm gonna take off as much of the debris and junk that I can by hand. And now I'm gonna switch over by using the alcohol swab. Tip it here in the jug. And we'll start scrubbing the tip of it here. We'll also put the swab down inside the middle. Spin it around, push all the way to the tip here. We'll swirl that and make sure we get it nice and clean inside and out. I'll go ahead and use the microfiber cloth to wipe off the outside again and that looks really nice. Perfectly clean. Next thing I'm going to do is clean out the air assist tube here. So dipping my swab into alcohol again. I'm going to swab out this portion and let the alcohol kind of drip out. It's going to come out through here and out the nozzle which is fine. We want it to clean it out. The alcohol does evaporate quickly so you're not going to hurt anything by pushing it in there and seeing it drip out the nozzle. That's okay. The name of the game is cleanliness and making sure it's not blocked. It's not trying to stay dry from the alcohol, which is going to evaporate quick anyway. This is all good and clean. I know my air assist tubing is clear. The nozzle is clear. All we have left is a little bit of alcohol residue. We're going to set it there and let it dry. Now we're going to change our attention to the actual lens itself. I'm using a brand new swab, dipping it in the alcohol. I'm going to clean from the inside to the out. Carefully flip it over and do the same thing on both sides. As you handle the lens, make sure you only hold it by the edges. Don't grab it on the faces. Just hold it on the edges just like that so you don't smear it or actually scratch it with anything. Next up is to reassemble the lens module here. We're going to put it into place. You want to make sure you put this back in the same orientation that you removed it from. This is a one-way shaped lens, so be careful as you remove it, you put it back the same way. Simply drop it into place. If at first it's not in their level, you might be tempted to poke it with your finger. Try not to do that. Just kind of tap it, and it'll set right in place there flat. After that, we reinstall our little plastic washer or O-ring. And then we can reinstall the metal ring or locking ring whatever you want to call it, it goes back in place. And for this, you just want to carefully thread it with your fingers, taking the time to be gentle. Don't cross thread it. It only needs to go in there just tight enough to hold it, to keep it from rattling and moving around as the machine moves. You don't have to torque this down. You don't have to lock it down at all. You're just going to cause yourself problems when you come back to clean it in the next day or so. At this point, you're done. Don't touch it. You can go ahead and slide it back into place if you want to. But for our purpose and our cleaning, I'm just going to set it over here out of the way. Because what we're going to do next is take a look at the gantry. And we're going to make sure our tubing is clean and clean up any other kind of residue that might be around on this piece. We can use new swabs or if you've got one that's not super dirty, that's fine. I just like to make sure there's no large debris in here where the mirror rests against its magnets. Not trying to do anything major cleaning wise because honestly the laser doesn't touch any of this stuff. I just try and make sure nothing big has fallen in there or collected over time. Also just go through and check my air nozzle. Make sure the end of it is cleaned off. 
This is a very small diameter nozzle, so you can't really put a swab or a Q-tip up in there, but just cleaning that off is good. And then I take the time to inspect anything around here at the bottom, the sides, just make sure it looks clean. This is your one chance to look at everything, so make sure it looks good and it should operate fine. At this point, we're now gonna clean our mirror. So this one, very similar procedure. Take a brand new swab. I'm gonna dip it in the alcohol just a little bit and we're gonna clean from the center, working our way to the outside. Flip it over, center, working our way spiral to the outside. And that's it. That's all we need to do for cleaning that. As for putting it back into its slot, it is magnetic. You just wanna make sure it locks into place. This one has a little notch, but I haven't seen a notch cut out in my gantry. Although when I removed it, I think the notch was at the bottom, so that's the way I'm gonna put it back in. I'm gonna carefully slot it back into place. Right there, and you wanna kinda of wiggle it. Just make sure it sits flush. Make sure it doesn't move around. You can up and down, left and right. You'll be able to feel it by touch if it's locked in correctly or not. So that one's good. Now we're gonna put our lens assembly back together. First step is the air assist tubing. Kinda of pull it out here. Just kinda of push it back into its fitting. That's a push to connect fitting. Let it route into its spot, and then this whole assembly slides right back into its little area or tray that it came from. After that, we use our Allen wrench and attach the two screws back where they came from, and then we're almost done with this part. Last thing to do is to recover these pieces. Slide your top cover down, making sure you don't pinch any wires, and carefully walk it into place. Then your front cover is magnetic and just pops back in place just like that. With that being done, we have cleaned our mirror on the gantry and our lens and air nozzle assembly. We're done with that part. Just so you know, it's a power lift table. I'm not really this short. All right, the next thing to do is clean the mirror on the left side of our gantry. This one's really easy to do. You'll remember this one from your assembly of your machine. So we'll go ahead and pull this little plastic door off that slides out of the way. Pull our gantry all the way forward. Again, remember to go slow. Don't mess up your stepper motors. And we remove the mirror from its cradle right here. This pops out just like the others. It's magnetically held in place. And you just grab it with your fingertips and carefully remove it. I do the same technique, swab dipped in alcohol, rub from the center all the way out, kind of from the middle, work your way out, flip it over, rub middle, work my way out, and that's it. This one has an indention, just like the mirror on the main gantry. And while it didn't seem to matter here where the laser head assembly is, over here, there is a notch. You want to align it. Because remember, when you did your assembly, this is the mirror you possibly had to tweak to align things. Make sure you put it back just like it was. On my machine, the notch is right here at the bottom left. Yours might be different. Just make sure you line it back in, make sure it sits flat and it doesn't twist. Be careful on that one. Once you put the mirror in, you just put your plastic cover back and you're done. There you go guys. At this point, you're done. Go ahead and take the time while you have your machine here. Clean out your crumb tray, maybe wipe down your slats, but otherwise you're done. You've cleaned the mirrors, the lens, the gantry, everything, and you're back in business ready to start cutting or engraving. I'll put a link to Xtool's official documentation on how to do this procedure on the Xtool P2 down below in the video description. But if you got any questions or comments, you can hit me up, leave a comment down below, and I'll help you out if I can as well. Otherwise, hopefully you found this informational, educational, or maybe was interesting for you if you don't have an Xtool P2 and you're kind of curious to see how they're set up put together and what kind of maintenance you run into there you go overall it's not a terrible procedure to do a little bit lengthy I've had some easier ones to do as far as lens cleaning but honestly it works fine and it's just something you got to do so if you're getting the machine have the machine you might as well get used to doing that appreciate you guys watching as always you got any questions or comments leave them for me down below otherwise take care I'll see you guys next time in the workshop